Hi, I'm Pakata12, and today we play with feedback again in order to build this uh, Belusov Shabotinsky inspired uh, reaction. We build this from scratch, and um, there are a couple of parameters with um, very small change. It can uh, give you a different output, and so uh, you can VJ with this uh, all night. Let's see first uh, what this reaction means. You see those uh, little dots growing bigger and bigger and uh, then some others starting from the same uh, center, right? And uh, yeah, I, uh, I played uh, this uh, for a couple of days and uh, so I achieve uh, uh, some different uh, looks and uh, yeah, today we'll, uh, I, I will walk you through this uh, uh, technique. Okay, let's, um, let's start clean. And first, first we need the, the resolution, okay? So, um, we use a, a constant and uh, we go for landscape so we need uh, res x 1280 and uh, res y 720 okay and uh, now we need yeah we we jump uh, over one step so Let's let's go here and um, and see what we need. We need a, a texture like this with just a couple of uh, of points, okay. And uh, some of them are uh, uh, growing uh, with a with with a speed, okay. And uh, some other with a different speed, and um, yeah something like that and uh, when they when they touch then we'll see them okay so yeah for this i use the noise okay and let's give this resolution okay now this noise is um, 32 mono and uh, I want to have it uh, nearest pixels since I want to see the, the, the pixels and uh, for the period I go uh, 0 0.0001 so crazy slow uh, small and uh, offset to, to 0 and now I have a, a bunch of, of points with values in between 0 1 uh, some above some under but uh, and now we use a level and uh, let's see this uh, also nearest pixels okay and in step by using here step size one divided by two the zero one segment it's a uh, step with two so I have as a values I have zero and one. So here I have uh, uh, either zero where it's black or one where it's uh, white. But uh, the density it's it's quite crazy. And so let's uh, go with black level to maybe zero eight. Okay. So now we have just a couple of of points. Okay. Now we use the null here. And let's let's see actually this null yeah. Now I want to to give to each point a different value, okay? And uh, because then I, I want to use a feedback and add that value over and over, okay? So uh, those uh, uh, points will will grow, okay? So. Yeah, let's use a noise or use the same one and maybe here period goes to one 
and let's reset the offset also okay like this but I would like the scale to be 0 2 and uh, yeah we good now just a second sorry it's my little cat and uh, now let's multiply this now because here I have 0 1 when I multiply the 0 goes to 0 obviously that doesn't change and uh, when I have 1 in this texture then that it goes different uh, gray uh, values so different uh, values okay let's connect this let's make it uh, nearest pixels okay now some of the points uh, got uh, darker since the the values are, are very small okay and um, I would also like to to have um, a transparent instead of black one reason is for seeing something and um, a second reason is we go into feedback and we need that uh, uh, alpha so let's use reorder like this and uh, we connect here we take the alpha out of here now in this moment we do have uh, 0 and 1 here but uh, let me show you something I use an analyze to to see the maximum value and now to actually see the the, the value I use uh, top 2 and uh, yeah it's 1 However, the moment you go here with uh, some other parameters, but mostly harmonic gain will go over 0 0.75, you lose one. You, have, you will have uh, some uh, of the pixels will be two. So 0, 1 and 2. And that texture is, is not what you want. Okay, so yeah, keep this in mind. Okay. now we take input 2 and red for the alpha and this texture just a second so this texture it's 32 mono plus alpha okay and now we good and I would like to make a feedback here so uh, yeah I use a null okay here and uh, then let's see I use feedback let's make it uh, black and also um, keyboard in chop to pulse this okay and now we we add okay this null and we take the add into feedback okay you see this uh, little arrow so now they all become uh, uh, white because the the value uh, went uh, way above one and uh, yeah it, it's it's good but uh, it's only a single pixel and uh, now let's let's see if I use a blur here Be since I would like the neighbors to be added okay little by little and then we we get those cones actually and uh, we can play with this uh, blur but uh, very very quick we we don't see anything and uh, either we go uh, black with the, the uh, transparency that doesn't help too much and here um, I use my uh, custom component and uh, this one is for um, for getting the fastest uh, normals approximations so it's a stretching method it takes um, any um, black and white texture as an input and uh, yeah let's see what we have 
uh, not too much okay so because uh, yeah the the blur here it's it's quite crazy and now you see we have those uh, tips okay but uh, they are growing so slow and uh, yeah it seems uh, at one moment it, it, it stops or you can get um, better than this but to help the spread okay i'm thinking to to use slope to displace as in my um, tutorial with uh, recursive uh, displays okay and uh, let's do that let's make a little space okay and uh, let's use slope okay and here for the green i'll take uh, vertical luminance and uh, we don't need the blue so it's neutral actually this texture is 32 rg okay and um, yeah now let's use this place and yeah here vertical source takes green and now we're good and uh, yeah we have uh, this very nice something i don't know uh, let's play with uh, some parameters okay so here with the blur okay you, you notice if if i go a uh, very small some some um, crazy pixels uh, appear and uh, yeah me personally i i don't uh, like it too much so how do we stabilize this we can pressure pressuring okay and uh, yeah you can play uh, with this uh, values as you want now what i what i notice here only some some points are are getting um, um, higher or um, it's it's um, static you know okay it seems this uh, uh, data here it's uh, going with uh, uh, some some um, uh, in increment okay and some other with uh, with different but yeah not uh, what if i change the values okay so these textures stays uh, the, the points uh, stay where, where they are and uh, here we translate this so abs time dot seconds divided by 10 okay let's see like this yeah and now the 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 data is changing and uh, yeah it's more more dynamic uh, they still have this uh, uh, ugly tip okay and uh, one way i believe it's to not take this last uh, ad i don't know sometimes it's helping but it depends on what you add uh, step by step and uh, you know what let's use here since i believe it's because of this uh, single pixels and then then it gets crazy sharp there what if we use a blur okay and uh, yeah. yeah it helps and um, yeah let's see let's play with this blur okay now it's uh, you have more more control okay also uh, to 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 be much easier to to change values here for the displays let's let's go uh, 0 0.1 okay like this and um, now let's see the the strength for the slope so now the you have m much more control on on this okay and uh, 
yeah what else it's quite uh, I don't know uh, conish it uh, looks too much like a cone and maybe here if I pre shrink yeah okay and I can I can actually go uh, quite low with this uh, strength okay and uh, maybe here with um, only two for filter and uh, yeah let's use divided by 10 maybe and see what happened okay now I still don't like it don't like this uh, cone okay and uh, yeah I try to to find a okay maybe uh, if I use more points I don't know this place yeah let's no okay yeah I'm not impressed by that yet okay so we use a, a blur since I, I believe I believe this is the the reason the slope is too too sloppy so yeah now let's go down here with yeah I do want more points yeah something like this and um, now if we use pre-shrink here you can you can uh, change the viscosity you know okay let's see how we color something like this so here in this texture I have something I can't see yet and um, you can you can use a limit here let's use a limit and uh, zigzag and uh, zigzag between 0 1 and uh, yeah we have uh, we have something you know but uh, the noise doesn't know we can't see this texture so let's let's use use this in a second input and uh, let's give it uh, the same resolution for all okay okay and now now we have this and uh, let's use 32 RGB okay let's uh, increase the period and the uh, scale maybe 0 2 okay yeah much much better now and uh, how we can um, have some some shading scores um, yeah we have this uh, uh, normal map here and uh, the easiest uh, easiest way is just to use a, a monochrome okay sorry uh, I delete the null in the end okay so we use like this okay I insert here not a multiply instead uh, composite composite it's much better since it gives you some um, options okay so instead of multiply let's go with uh, minim or you know but uh, still um, I would like more 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 like a, a more, more shading um, over the this surface and uh, what else we can do is use another noise okay and I use this uh, as a as a coordinate map okay 
and this one goes monochrome okay and uh, now I will steal from here some reflections okay by using a composite here okay and uh, only then we go into the this one okay now okay now let's see how we change uh, what what options do we have so first of all you can you can do uh, you can change the the noise parameter and the go very crazy with the reflections okay um, again we can use uh, some others um, options here as uh, maybe maximum okay it's a uh, yeah very nice uh, surface okay and here yeah maybe here uh, it's okay if we multiply okay now we good still we have some some uh, cony uh, conish look okay let's solve this so let's see what's the what's the value for I believe what I believe if I take the slope directly from the feedback maybe let's see not here okay we'll 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 have the 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 file as uh, it should be anyway but yeah oh it's pre-shrink here pre-shrink okay this is it i believe yeah the the, the cone it's uh, it's crazy okay so yeah we can we can oh okay since we we before we uh using only only um, positive numbers you know the they they go up all the time and so now by setting the offset to zero uh, we get uh, 50 50 let's say a positive and uh, negative values so uh, it's much better now but uh, still we need to to work here a little bit okay yeah so as i told you before uh, a very single uh, small change can can give you a cr crazy output and uh, what i'm what i'm thinking to 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 do now it's using something to help mixing this uh, cornish uh, look or something you know so um what if i use a, a a sharp here so sharpen and uh, let's go inside this convolve uh, i want it to be 32 as all the others and uh, yeah let's go zero for for the to not affect too much you know and uh, now try to yeah play different uh, different values okay it's still too corny okay yeah yeah obviously was because of that now we 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 good okay let's take the slope from here oh you don't like it 
Okay. And this one. This one, the 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 blue here after the slope, it's um, yeah, it's it's very important for 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 the speed of the the the, the liquid. You see, if uh, you increase it, and I believe this become less important or yeah, not not quite, yeah. So now now I like it actually. Uh, I like it and uh, I will try to 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 make it um, let's see if I take the the color from the limit texture I will have uh, less colors but uh, somehow in um, in a repetition you know some some tones of colors like like here if i take the noise out of the unlimited um, uh, texture much more much more colors okay so i would also want to to try okay so yeah that has to be a okay yeah it y y you you can go uh, a ton of of things with 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 this um i would like to use here delayed right after the displays okay and again inside here i go and make sure those two um let me take this off okay so those two jelly cells are taking the input for the pixel format okay and uh, let's go zero zero here here with five let's see what happened okay okay so now it's uh, now we have that li liquid we we want okay and uh, yeah it really depends on 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 the values here so um you you will see actually the 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 file i showed you before it, it is the same with this one and so yeah it's um it's it's, it's just playing and playing with with this feedback um let me let me try to to settle this down a little bit okay so yeah i have a crazy slope okay so okay maybe the value for here it's it's way too big maybe let's okay and um yeah, circle it's good. Oh, yeah. It's it's getting better, okay? Um, let's increase this even more. Maybe three. Okay. Yeah. And now now the the the, the surface it's uh very very smooth and uh, also the colors and uh, if we go here in this blur and take Dieter some some very nice um, I don't know how to how to say it uh, proper you know very nice um, surface you now it's um, and also you can check this Dieter too. It uh, it gives you uh, way much uh, more, uh, more uniform um, uh, pixelations. Okay, which sometimes it's it's good. Depends uh, what you what you're looking. So I would like to decrease this pressuring in order. 
oh so this goes with speed okay okay and now here I would like to okay so now I can check the uh, wi without the 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 blur but um, yeah so I if you blur the the surface you 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 will lift up it will be much bigger okay so much more data will will settle above uh, uh. okay so yeah i believe uh, this is uh, the technique and uh, obviously uh, you you need to to play a ton with uh, with with this as I, as i said you can have um, i would say a color from from a, a group of colors which uh, will repeat uh, over time or you can uh, use the normal map and then you get some some kind of uh, metallic look you know let's uh, yeah I always uh, look for colors with with this I, I use different uh, periods and then uh, different seeds uh, and uh, yeah and this give uh, 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 a very very subtle uh, by using harmonic gain with with, with colors you, you you'll yeah you'll fine-tune uh, the the colors you you like so um, let's see what else we can play maybe obviously a noise here uh, let let's try so noise so i would like to take this slope into a noise this let's make this 32 rg okay and obviously not monochrome okay now i will judge this on some points let's i don't know let's fill this and uh, let's see so now we don't have nothing right let's make some some space okay so if we uh, change the amplitude we we have some 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 nice uh, fluid um, let's see it uh, with the colors or actually with a lot of colors like um, yeah it uh, really depends on uh, on how you want uh, this so now the exponent the exponent will take the it will uh, diminute the the effect of the, the the motion okay so you you will have now some nice um, uh, waves and and so on okay and uh, yeah I believe this is the technique and um, I really hope you you like this and, um, hit the like button uh, subscribe if you haven't already or you can support me on patreon you'll get uh, access to a bunch of others tutorials thank you so much for watching my um, technique in the end i want to thank to all my patrons and um, especially to anti allies brandon tay breakwood brian smith Kono cars daniel clark darian brito dimitri diak Doya, Erin Lewin, Fraxinus, Kevin Greber, Leo Torres, Laures Lab, Moreno Belich, Paul Trall, Prime Grivort, Robert Elderton, Swild Bridger, Siskil Me, Tim Node, Tom Dream, Vincent Naples. Guys, thank you so much.